Hi, Gloria Lightbrook here with Healing You. I was working with a client the other day and they said that they were feeling just so bad. That it was as if there was they were immobilized, frozen from the inside out. And what they noticed was that they stopped noticing what they felt in their body. It was like they just would become numb and their head would feel really heavy as well. And so as they began to have a shift, what they began to notice is they could sense their peripheral senses. When we can start to notice the space between our first two fingers, it can start to bring us back in a completely different way. It's a very um, unique thing to be able to do, but notice right now the space between your two fingers. Is it warm? Is it cold? Is it moist? Is it dry? Just simply notice without trying to change anything, but bringing your attention to your peripheral senses. Another thing that my client noticed was being able to have movement or to invite movement would, in would invite energy to begin to flow again from the inside out, bringing life energy up, which is so supportive. So by being able to develop just these little steps towards presence, then they could begin to notice that there's this place within them that had been there for quite a while. And it was a, a, a part of them that really didn't believe that they could care about anything because, or about anybody, because they didn't believe anybody cared about them. So why would they care? As they continued to journey, they had a memory of a time that, that they'd been given some space with their therapy, with their ongoing healing journey. And they needed to be willing to step back in to begin to take responsibility on a day-to-day -day basis for their healing. And it needed to slow it down, or they needed to slow it down just moment by moment. And that was really important because when we live in the moment, we're actually living more present. When they uncovered a contract they had, they sensed that, or whenever they sensed that someone important to them might go away, then they would just cut themselves off from having relationships with anybody else. And then they would cut themselves off from any, even their own self-care. And they would do this because they had the belief that they didn't matter. And they also did it in order to survive the pain of being left behind. It was just too much for their body when they were little to be left behind. So as they were able to go through the process and release that contract and revoke that vow, they received a blessing. And this blessing is really supportive for them to have the ability to stay in relationship with compassionate understanding. And their imagination <laughs> lit up and they had blue sparkles coming down from the sun. And they felt a lightness and a big white horse came forward to meet them and to greet them and to help them journey home to their sense of self. And as they ended their session, they made an authentic request for themselves to take an authentic action, to do their energy exercises every day and to sit underneath a sunlight. Because sometimes in the winter, it can be pretty dark and the shadows can really get thick and heavy. So bringing that light in and having the blue sparkles and their imagination with that beautiful white horse accompanying them makes it doable. So it's really, I don't know, such a gift to get to work with, one, with people in this way and to witness that divine energy that sustains and supports us to continue to grow and evolve and to get to know ourselves in a new way. If you'd like some accompaniment on your journey, reach out to me today at healingyousanctuary.com. Thanks for being on the journey. Healing you.